In this video, we will learn about 10 most interesting things about Mad Men. So get the popcorn and a drink of your choice ready. The show is about to begin. Matthew Weiner, the creator of Mad Men, listed Alfred Hitchcock as a major influence on the visual style of the series, especially the film North by Northwest. The actors did not smoke real cigarettes. They smoked ecstasy herbal cigarettes, which are tobacco and nicotine-free. Show creator, Matthew Weiner said in a New York Times article, You don't want actors smoking real cigarettes. They get agitated and nervous. I've been on sets where people throw up, they've smoked so much. When asked what it's like to smoke herbal cigarettes, John Hamm, who plays Don Draper, said, Terrible. They taste like a mixture between pot and soap. John Hamm confirmed that the beverages consumed on the show are non-alcoholic, pointing out that the shooting schedule is actually very hectic and that he would never drink during the day either on or off camera. The series spans 10 years, the pilot takes place around March of 1960. The series finale occurs in October 1970. John Slattery auditioned for the role of Don Draper before being asked to play Roger Sterling. Glenn, the neighbor's young son who forms a connection with Betty, is portrayed by Martin Holden Weiner, the son of series creator Matthew Weiner. January Jones auditioned twice for the role of Peggy Olson, before Matthew Weiner, asked her to read for the part of Betty Draper instead, despite the fact that at that point the character was barely in the pilot, and he had no plans of fleshing her out. Jessica Perre auditioned for the roles of Rachel Mencken and Jane Siegel before being cast as Megan Calvert. Such actors as, Danny Masterson, and Topher Grace were considered for the role of Pete Campbell. Creator Matthew Weiner, thought John Hamm was right for the role of Don Draper, early on in the audition process, however, executives were not so sure, and the actor was forced to audition numerous times to get the role. Matthew Weiner shot the pilot for Mad Men, on the break, between the two parts of season 6 of The Sopranos, and he used a lot of the crew from the HBO show to do it. David Chase, agreed to help him in what he could, but making sure that Weiner would come back, to write the last episodes of The Sopranos. Shortly before the show premiered, Matthew Weiner got worried, when he heard the news that an adaptation of Richard Yates's Revolutionary Road was going to be shot. The novel and the show, share some important thematic, plot, and setting elements, and Weiner feared that everyone would complain about him copying Yeats's themes. The irony was, that when Revolutionary Road premiered in 2008, Mad Men had already aired two seasons, so people actually accused Sam Mendes's movie of looking too much like Mad Men. Robert Morse is the oldest regular cast member on the show. He was 75 years old when the pilot was shot in 84 for the finale. Julia Ormond, who guest stars as Marie Calvert, was such an ardent fan of the show that she once ended a long-term relationship with someone, when he watched a new episode of Mad Men without her.